There we are. Oh, it looks delicious. <laughs> Norman, will you do the honors? Stings, doesn't it? Hello Spider-Man fans, thanks so much for clicking on this video. My name is Chris, we got an update here on Spider-Man No Way Home. Surprise, surprise! But at least this one isn't involving any leaks or spoilers for the movie. Instead, we are being told when we can expect the second trailer for Spider-Man No Way Home, finally! So what we're gonna be doing here is talking about that release date along with what exactly we can expect to see in the second trailer. Being a little bit realistic here with everything they have already revealed about the movie officially, while at the same time trying to tame our expectations and mentally prepare for the madness that will be that second Spider-Man No Way Home trailer. So I'm gonna need you Spider-Man fans to give me your opinions down below with everything we discussed here today, specifically what you want to see in the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer. Obviously, everybody wants to see Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, and Aunt Megan and Slap, but other than that, what else do you want to see in that trailer? Leave me your thoughts while also hitting that like button if you're just excited that we're finally getting this thing. Alright, so one thing I wanted to mention right off the top, in case you were somebody who missed out on the Disney Plus Day event, I did a whole video breaking down everything that was revealed during the event and one I wanted to mention in the Spider-Man video was the upcoming animated Spider-Man show. I think it's pretty insane that they announced an animated Spider-Man series that'll be set in the MCU and this will be canon to Tom Holland's Spider-Man where we will be getting his freshman year origin story to kind of complete off his high school years because from what I understand Homecoming starts off with Spider-Man in the sophomore year then Far From Home is junior and then obviously No Way Home will touch upon his senior year in graduating. That's just something I definitely wanted to bring back up in case you were somebody who missed out on that announcement. Now as far as when we're going to get this second trailer here, we have the information coming to us from Daniel Richmond, and this has been the most reliable source we've had lately when it comes to when trailers and posters are going to be coming out for these Marvel movies. Like any scooper out there, he's gotten stuff right and he's gotten stuff wrong, but when it came to all these Marvel trailers and posters, he has been on point. He let us know when the first trailer was coming out, that came out correct. He let us know when the poster was coming out, that also came to fruition and now he's going ahead and saying that next week the beginning of November 15th all the way to the 19th will be the week that we get the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer and now it was announced just this morning that the second trailer will be revealed Tuesdays November 16th during a fan event in Los Angeles California now unfortunately there's not really any details on how fans can even attend this premiere if it's just first come first serve or there's actual tickets to be bought I'm gonna try to get my hands on some of them tickets and show up there but this is kind of crazy that they're gonna go ahead and show the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer at a fan event here with a lot of people grouped up. Part of me is thinking that they're actually gonna go ahead and reveal Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield and this fan event is something like what Marvel has done in the past with their events where they bring out the stars after the trailer. This might actually finally be it guys. They could be confirming to the world. No more denying Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire will show up at this fan event and blow people's minds after they get to witness the trailer for themselves. Now, for anybody wondering, the trailer is set to premiere online for everybody else that exact same day, so it's not like it's even going to get leaked online or anything like that. And I was really going to want to talk about what to expect in the second trailer, and one of the first things I was going to say is, don't expect Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield to be shown in this trailer, but now... With this fan event, it seems very likely like it could happen. Now that we know when it's coming, what exactly should we expect to see in this trailer? I know some people want to see maybe the feet of the spider people, their shadow, their voice. So if right now I'm going off the basis that they're not going to be the things to show off in the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer, I think it's going to be what I've been saying for the past couple of weeks involving this second trailer. It'll all be mainly focused on showing off the Sinister Six villains, or at least the multiverse villains. We have to remember, us as fans who have been eating up every single piece of Spider-Man No Way Home news like crazy. We might know who the villains already are, but it is up to those trailers to inform the general public who are not crazy people like us looking up everything about this movie. And they have already shown off Dr. Octopus. That's an obvious one that'll be in the trailer somehow. Probably an extended scene of that bridge sequence. Woo! Get ready for that whole three minute trailer to be a bridge sequence. I'm ready for it. We'll probably get an extended fight scene between them two. I wouldn't be surprised if it's 
the scene where Dr. Octopus is gripping Spider-Man because I think that would be a really great money shot for the trailer. But the other obvious villain they have thrown in there is Green Goblin with his unmistakable pumpkin bomb. Pair that up with the fact that they have now finally revealed him in official marketing material with the iconic Green Goblin Sam Raimi suit in there. I think it's time that he's the next big villain they reveal in this trailer. So I'm saying Green Goblin is a for sure confirmation for this second trailer. Whether he is actually wearing the mask that he has in the poster or it'll just be Willem Dafoe's face, I'm thinking that is going to be happening for sure. So we got two villains locked down, but the rest have just been really obscure small secrets because we have Electro, Sandman, and the Lizard that we know are showing up in here. And all three of those villains have just been very secretly teased in all the other material. We have the posters where there's a bit of sand, electricity in the sky, or in the trailers where you have the Lizard trying to claw at Spider-Man behind a Doctor Strange wall. There's still so much debate amongst fans that don't even believe that's the lizard in there. And since he wasn't obviously hinted at in the recent poster, people don't think that's the lizard in there and they strongly believe that's going to be Venom. I want to put all that talk to shame that it could be Venom in the trailer. No, it is going to be lizard, my boys. And I want to see what they do with his design. Is it going to be sticking to the way he looked in Amazing Spider-Man? And if it is, does he got that lab coat? Does he got the purple pants? I think this trailer has to make it abundantly clear that those three villains are in the movie, especially Especially Jamie Foxx. Tom Holland himself recently mentioned that he's happy to have Jamie Foxx in the film. So I think it's time to show off his Electro. Then from there, I'm going to say the Lizard over Sandman. But I don't think they will show off the actor who played Sandman in Spider-Man 3. Instead, I'm thinking they're probably going to show us a monster version of Sandman. Something similar to the way he was at the end of Spider-Man 3. And that'll be enough to let people know, oh, it's Sandman. But we don't know if it's even the same actor, which I'm pretty sure it is. Other than those things to expect in the second trailer, finally start showing us some of those new suits that are in all your promotional material because I think it's so weird that you're still showing off the Iron Spider suit that has been with Tom Holland for several years now. I'm really hoping it's a situation where this Iron Spider suit isn't actually in the movie and it's just some clever marketing because remember when the Far From Home trailers all showed off Spider-Man in his homecoming suit and then when you actually watch the movie he's actually wearing his Iron Spider suit in that scene? I have to believe that's what's happening here and instead of the Iron Spider suit we're seeing the upgraded one that's black gold and red definitely show us a better look of that black and gold suit because you did show it off in the first trailer as for any surprises in the trailer i don't think they'll be showing off charlie cox's matt murdoch as daredevil i feel like if he is in the movie that is a small little cameo and something else that doesn't want to be ruined in the trailer i think the real surprises will be is we'll start to see spider-man use some of the magic abilities he's set to get in this movie that we've seen from the promotional material where he's shooting out like this magical web I think that'll be the surprise and the thing that gets people going, oh, what the hell? But really, those are just my thoughts and theories on what we'll expect to see in the second trailer. Obviously, I don't have any insider information. I could be completely wrong with everything they show, and Toby and Andrew will be front and center, but I really do believe it'll mainly be focused on the Sinister Six and showing them to the public, finally. And maybe we could get an announcement of them Bunker Pops. Let me know your guys' opinions on what you want to see in the second trailer, what you think they'll reveal, what do you think the big money shot at the end will be, any surprises. And again, everything, be sure to like and subscribe, follow me on Twitter at 3C Films, or on TikTok at 3C Films. But as always, I'm Chris. Take care.